energy fitness, musical health talk. And we're now at a tempo of 90 beats per minute. So this tempo is perfect for body conditioning, stretching, relaxation, yeah? Uh, be in your own spotlight. It's your moment. You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to put pressure on yourself. If you fall off the wagon with your fitness regime, that's fine. One moment at a time. Good for you for working on you today, yeah? Shine. Great big smile, abdominal muscles in and up. Feel good about yourself, yeah? It's your time to shine. I always rhyme. This is Marina. You got it going on. Shine. Dry your eyes and let it shine. All the time, just let it shine. Now's your time to let it shine. Just let it shine. All right, because that's the truth. That's the truth. Feeling good about you, about your accomplishments. So my son, Justin Bartholomew, came in. Your accomplishments. Feel good about it, man. Feel really good about it, you know? It's something to feel incredible about. Not everybody can do what you guys have done and go through law school and achieve what you have. Yeah? So how do we do that, Justin? What do you say to a young person that's going for their goals and maybe struggling in high school and not doing terribly well? Any words of advice you can give them? Advice? I don't yeah. know if I have any advice. No? What's I, the good, advice? good luck? I don't know. I'm not good really luck. sure. And uh, I, I ended up doing really well in, in law school, yes. but I didn't do so well in the beginning. Okay. So there's no, no, past is not always prologue, I suppose. Okay. All right, so keep going for it. Keep swinging the bat, as they say, yeah? Well, yeah, you know, uh, for the basketball, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Jordan. Oh, is that so? Is that an expression I should know it's about? It's a quote. It's a good one. It's a quote. I like that one. Say it again. Uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Ooh. Have you ever heard that, Daniel Adler? I have. I have. I think Wayne Gretzky said that as well. Ooh. I'm yeah. loving this. I've loved the whole thing, the athletic reference. This is Marina. You're listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk. The song is called Shine. You got it going on. Very often we have a goal, something we want to achieve, and it doesn't happen right away. And a lot of people can become disheartened and throw in the towel. Yeah? It was very hard for you that first year of law school. I remember it well. Oh, yeah. They put me through the ringer. They did. And you hung in there. I guess I did. Totally did. You obviously did, Daniel Adler. Was it hard for you at the beginning? I hung in there. Yeah, you know, law schools are... Tr it's a tricky place when you first start because they don't really tell you what you need to know or what you need to do. They kind of yeah. just give you cases and say, hey, go. Well, they so, figure, you know, you've got it going on. I yeah. guess so. Yeah, well, I mean, so from that standpoint, you got to figure things out for yourself. True. Like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Click your heels three times. Feel the beat, people. You got it. Shine, shine, shine. All right, you got it. Let it shine. Inhale through the nose. Let it shine. Exhale through the mouth. enough of that. This is Marina. You're listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk. And I'm going to keep it here at about 90 beats per minute. 90 beats per minute. Uh, you know, when we were younger, when I was younger, I was in high school in the 70s. And there was a big physical fitness program going on. A big push for that. And now, after I've raised these three children over these past 26 years, I see that our physical fitness in this country has really suffered. And you have beautiful facilities depending on your neighborhood and where you are, uh, rec centers, and there are no programs in place necessarily for our young people. So Daniel, you being a basketball player, uh, what, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, for young people, what, what are you seeing and maybe what advice do you have for young people? When I, I remember when I was in high school, there was a tremendous amount of misinformation out there about how to train for sport how to get yourself in shape, how to get stronger. And I was fortunate enough to have worked to, have been able to work with uh, Rich Snedeker, who was a very high, high-end trainer who actually worked with the New Jersey Nets uh, okay. in prior years. And he, were, he was really able to teach me how to train, how to work hard, how to do the things you need to do in order to get better and get stronger and be a better athlete. And right. so without him, I don't know what I would have done because 
There wasn't anybody at school teaching me what to do. Right. My basketball coaches didn't really know what to do. They were basketball coaches, not strength coaches. So, right. yeah, there's a tremendous amount of misinformation and uh, avo a, a void of information in some respects as well. All right. So you had a mentor yeah. who trained you. Yeah. All right. So you had strain, but without the strain, there'd be no pain, no gain. If you don't train, it's a strain. Here's my segue to my song, Strain. <laughs> play on words. So maybe you got your writing abilities from your mother, Justin. It's possible. Oh yeah, you can have that. Right? I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Although Thank I'm you. a very boring writer, so I don't know if you really want any part of it. That's true. But you know, you always gave me those larger words that I'd never heard of. You know, you know all those big words. Oh yeah, I've got a few big words. You like those big words. But you know, Daniel, that's very, very true. I mean, you had a mentor and very often young people, if they don't have some type of a mentor in their life with anything, but especially with physical fitness, maybe that's part of the problem. That there are no real trainers out there for the masses, for the average kid that wants to get into shape, yeah? Totally, I think it's a big problem. Yeah. A big problem, because once you learn how to train and how to work out and how your body works, it's something you could take with you for the rest of your life. Certainly, certainly. It becomes motor memory, it becomes lifestyle, part of your life that you've had. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't be as into fitness and training and working out and all that kind of stuff if I wasn't an athlete who was into training for sports when I was a kid. Okay, all right. So I think it's all about paying it forward with physical fitness. Uh, very often, our children also have to be shown how to pay it forward to somebody else. If you have a friend and you're athletic, you're on a team, maybe pay it forward. It doesn't have to be a big deal. I'm not talking about, you know, beating anybody or screaming at anybody. I don't want to be yelled at. I don't think anybody wants to be yelled at. I hate it. I hate when they yell at people with this training lately. I hate it. But in terms of soothing and a little spoon feeding and making somebody feel good, make your friends feel good and fabulous out there. If you're an athlete, yeah, song is called Strain from HighEnergyFitness.com. This is Marina. You got it going on. Feel the beat, people. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another little bit of an exercise here, another little bit of an exercise, and, you know, the gentlemen don't have to join me, but I'm going to do it, of course, so for those of you that are watching YouTube today, I'm just going to sit in the squat. It's a very easy thing to do if you're at your desk. Abdominal muscles are in and up if you're listening to the radio show today, and I'm simply push myself off my chair gently, and I'm just sitting down into a squat. My back is straight, my chin is down to take the tension off the back of the neck. Abdominal muscles are in and up. Chest is high, and I'm simply just doing little presses to the beat. We're at 90 beats per minute. You got it going on. Just feel it on the top of your quads. You got it. Now just hold, just sit in your squat. Horse dance, for those of you that are into the martial arts. Plie, if you are doing ballet. It's all the same thing. Feeling that burn, abdominal muscles in. Just feel it. Ah, just hold, 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 just hold. And everybody have a seat. Well, now I'm like schwetzing and whatever, but I, you know, I got my, you know, little thing in with my quads, you know. How'd I do, Justin? It looked good to me. Look good to you. What do you think, Daniel? For an old Yenta, I'm like, you know, I'm pretty good shape here. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. I know, I didn't make you do it. I didn't make them do it. This is Marina. You're listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk, and I am here with Justin Bartholomew Kamen, the oldest of my three children that allows me to torture him on a regular basis on my radio show. Oh, it's hardly torture, Mom. A great pleasure. Thank you, darling. Much respect. Much respect. And Daniel... Adler, and we've been talking about young people and physical fitness. Uh, let's talk about the food in the schools right now. All right? I mean, it was really no better years ago, you guys. I mean, the, the food was gross. I mean, it was gross. So the tomato sauce on pizza has always been a vegetable? Totally. But... <laughs> totally. Well, Great. doesn't that count? Mm, great. Totally. Great. That's what it is. But it was always like that. You always had the binge. You always had the little jello cubes. You know, the ladies were always licking their fingers and putting them back in that glass little bowl that they had with the nets on the hair. I mean, it was always the same thing. Yeah, but then you went home and had dinner with family, right? True. See, our kids nowadays, it's, uh, I don't, maybe it always used to be that uh, a lot of parents had to work and okay. that dinner was in a microwave or out of a McDonald's, but okay. it certainly is that way now a lot. All right. Well, that's true. But I think it does have to do with the family. And what you and I did, Justin, when you were a fluffy teenager, because you were quite fluffy as a teenager. You were. I, a little bit. I was. You were. You had those. You were cute with those braces on and that chubby cheek. 
I was not cute, but thank you. I thought you were cute. But anyway, you know, just take the compliment from I, your I mother. Will, I will, I will. Totally. But what we used to do is you would come home from school in your junior year, and you would go on a treadmill, and I would get on a rebounder, and we would talk. And I would put on the music that I was writing at 140 beats per minute, and you and I would just talk to the music and that was our family musical health time together oh yeah I mean you were, we were talking before about uh, needing a mentor and learning how to train properly yeah. I, I happen to think it's you know I'm not a sports guy so I think it's more fundamental than that I think it just starts at home yeah. with you know talking about eating healthy and eating healthy together and working out together like we did that's totally true love it just feeling it guys we're at 100 beats per minute feel the beat feel the beat this is my urban side I love those hits the song is called Don't Quit from HighEnergyFitness.com. Don't quit, you're gonna get it. Don't quit, you're gonna get it. It's all about swinging the bat. This is an expression I learned from your grandfather. Kick the can down the road, just keep going. You know, hear the music, feel the beat, never stop moving in your body and your life. I have all these little phrases and everything. So anyway, so Daniel Adler, who's this basketball player, uh, I know a lot of women recently that like to play basketball. It's a thing. And I did write the theme song. I did an arrangement of Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves for the WNBA. I recorded it with Hazel Dean, who's quite a well-known singer in the dance music community. And she's an older yenta like me. Um, but I love these female basketball teams and women playing basketball. It's a new thing. It's a new shtick for a lot of older women. It's very good for you. Physical fitness. And it's good for your eyesight. And it's good for your proprioception. Do you like how I got that word in there, Justin? That's a good one. That's a lot of syllables, Mom. Proprioception. <laughs> proprioception. So, Daniel, did you work out today? Not yet, except for this little workout we've been doing in the chair. Yes, the shadow boxing yeah, yeah. at High Energy Fitness. All right, so daily, if you don't play basketball, what do you do? For physical fitness. Lately, it's been swimming. Okay. It's been swimming. I, uh, I've been able to get in some laps over my lunch break at work because Ooh. I have a gym right across the street from my office. So Lucky I'll go in there, swim for like 20 minutes, come back, take a shower before I come back. Fabulous. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's a great way to break up the day. And I also feel so much more productive at work when I'm able to get a midday workout in. Fabulous. Love it. Love it. Looking for things that you enjoy, because uh, that's what it's about, too. I mean, nobody wants to work out with something that they hate. So if you enjoy swimming, if you enjoy walking, if you enjoy dancing, whatever the case may be, find something that moves your heart and stick to it. This is Marina. You're listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk. I am here with attorney at law, Daniel Adler. And Justin Bartholomew came in, soon to be attorney at law, although when this airs, you will be soon to be closer attorney at law. Yeah, you know, it's apparently you have to take a bar exam. There's all these things before you get a title. So. What do you think? How are you doing studying for that thing, boy? I, I'm, I'm studying for it. Yeah. I think. Never stop moving. Right. Doing your thing. All right. As important as cardio and body conditioning is stretch and relaxation. Yeah. So take a moment for you. Just relax. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Yeah. Relax your hands. Relax your feet. Relax your face. Give yourself a break in life because that too, you know, very often when we are going for our goals, whether it be with our vocation, our education, with our bodies, and we feel like we blow it, we throw our hands up. And we don't continue, rather than to realize with the next moment, not even the next day, the next moment, get back on the horse, as they say, yeah? Feel the beat. Did this for you, Justin. I brought my violin out on this one. Oh, feel I love it. One. You know I love it. I know you do. Just feel it. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Yeah, keep pulling in that stomach. I always relate everything to singing because as a singer, we do aerobic breathing and we do it when we speak. We inhale through the nose and we inhale into our back. Our ribs are in our back and then you want to exhale and keep that rib cage away from the soft tissue, from the lung, which is in the back and support with your stomach. Just pull in your stomach, guys. Have a sense of yourself. Even if you just touch around a little bit at your waistline and get a sense of your body. Yeah, sitting up nice and tall. Just feel the beat. You got it going on.
Daniel, tell me the name of the law firm you work for. The name of the law firm is Mendes and Mount. Okay, and what do they specialize in? They specialize in insurance law. Insurance law. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And what do they do every day for physical fitness, do you think? Because, you know, corporate America has to be doing something to move their employees. Do they That's do true. The, well, the firm has a corporate partnership with Equinox. Oh. And there's an Equinox gym a few blocks away from the office. Ooh. So, yeah, we get special rates for that gym. And, uh... There's a number of, I forget exactly what it's called, but there's like a corporate challenge that involves like walking or running, and the firm always sponsors a team to participate in that. Excellent. We also have, we also have a basketball team and a softball team, so. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Great. Maybe I can come to one of these events. Perhaps. You're more than welcome. Perhaps. We could do a song or two. Get everybody up and moving. You know, moving to the beat with Marina. Feeling the beat today. You got it going on. Thank you for being with me, Daniel Adler. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Great job. Thank you, Justin Bartholomew Kamen. Thanks, Mom. Be well. This is Marina. Hear the music. Feel the beat. Never stop moving in your body and your life. It's all about you, yeah? You got it going on. We'll be back. Yeah.